Well, you know, I'm a farmer. Of that one fact, I'm proud. I've been pretty quiet about things, but now I'm going to get real loud. Because my bank account just threw up again, and I can't see the light of day. Because there's too much difference in the prices I get and the prices that I got to pay. Well, back in 47 or 49, things looked mighty good. I was getting 290 a bushel for my wheat. Knock on wood. Well, now here it is up to the 70s, and man, I'm really in a fix. Because my tractor costs just as much as my house, and my wheat's going for 256. Well, the people that write the laws, they live on concrete. They don't know what it takes to work the dirt. I gave them my hogs, my wheat, my corn, my oats, and all my barley. But I'm gonna put up a fuss before I give them my shirt. Well, the statisticians and all them analysts say that things aren't as bad as they seem. But with three cents a wheat and 60 cent bread, I just don't understand what they mean. Well, there's the middle man and the businessman, and they gotta make a living too. But if I can't make a living off my farm, what am I supposed to do, shine shoes? Well, the people that write the laws, they live on concrete. They don't know what it takes to work the dirt. I gave them my hogs, my wheat, my corn, my oats, and all my barley. But, you know, I still don't know what the heck they're going to do with my shirt. Things got a hole in the pocket. Could I maybe interest you in a farm dog instead? Really likes chickens. How about a couple of kids? Hey, Mabel, come in here. There's some guy says he wants to look at your teeth. Uh.